Welcome to example program. In this tutorial, we will see how we can write a C program to display the pattern that you guys are seeing here, which is a right angle triangle pattern where we can display a particular character like star that I have here, or we can display the numbers. Now here, first we will write the program to print the stars. And then we will see the variations that we can do and we will display different number patterns. So whenever we have a pattern to display, what we can do is we can divide that pattern in terms of rows and columns. So here we can say this is the first row, second row, third row, fourth row and fifth row. Similarly, this is the first column, second column, third column, fourth column and fifth column. Now, whenever we write a program to display a pattern on screen, what we do is we will display that pattern line by line, which is nothing but we go to the first line and we print whatever that we have to print for that first line. For example, in this case, we have to display one star. After printing the contents of the first line, we go to the second line and we will print the contents that we have to display. For example, in this case, we have to display star space star. Then we go to the next line and we will print the contents. So in this case, we have to display three stars, star, space, star, space, star. And similarly, we will, uh, you know, keep on uh, building this pattern until we have the uh, complete pattern. Now, since we are creating this pattern line by line, what we have to do is we have to come up with the logic which will determine how many stars or any other character to be displayed on a particular line. Now here we need to come up with the logic. Here if we look at the row number and the number of stars, then in the first row or whenever the row number is one, we are displaying one star. In second row, we are displaying two star. In the third row, we are displaying three star, fourth row, four star, and in fifth row, we have five star. So we can say that the number of stars that we have to print or the number of columns that we have to print for a particular row is equal to row number. If the row number is 10, then we have to print 10 columns in that particular row, or we have to print 10 stars in that particular row. So we will be using this logic and uh, we will construct the program. Now here I have written a bit of code. I have included the stdio.h header file and then we have the main function. Now the first thing that we do is we will ask the user for how many rows you want to display this pattern. To store that value, we need a variable. I'm going to take an integer type of variable and I'm going to call this variable as numrows and I will initialize it with a value of zero. And then we will use the printf function and we will ask the user for how many rows you want to print this pattern, enter the number of rows. And after that, we will use the scanf function and we will read the number entered by the user and we will store that in this numrows variable. So it will be percentage %d form a specifier and we will store the value in this numrows variable. Now what we have to do is we have to print the pattern line by line and since we have to display multiple lines in here and that line number will depend on whatever the value the user is going to enter what we can do is we can use a loop i'm going to use a for loop this for loop will determine the number of rows or number of lines that we have to print and i'm going to take a loop counter variable i'm going to call it as row number you know it will contain the row number the row number will start from one and how many rows or how many lines we want that value is present in this number rows variable so this uh, loop condition will be row number less than or equal to number rows after that uh, with every iteration we will increment the row number variable okay now here what we have to do is we have to print star for the line and after printing whatever the number of stars or any other character that we have to display for that particular line, we have to go to the next line. So after printing the contents of the line in the end, what we do is we will insert a new line by using the printf function. And I'm going to say 
backslash n you know just inserting a new line in here okay now what we have to do is we have to construct the logic for calculating the number of stars to display and we have to display that many stars so here the number of stars that we have to display for a particular row will depend on the row number and for some row we have to display more than one stars so what we can do is we can again use a for loop so in this case we will take another for loop and this for loop will be for the number of stars that we have to display for a particular row in other words we can also say that this for loop is for the columns or the number of columns that we want to have for a particular row so in this case I'm going to take a loop counter variable and I'm going to call it as column number column and uh, we will initialize this variable with a value of one because the column number starts from one and how many columns that we want to display for a particular row. We have seen that the number of columns that we have to display for a particular row is equal to the row number. So the loop condition here will be column number less than or equal to the row number is available for us in this row num variable so this condition column number less than or equal to row number will determine the number of star or any other character that we have to display for a particular row or for a particular line after that with every iteration we will increment the value of this column number variable so now Inside this for loop, what we have to do is we have to display the character that we want to display. So we will use the printf statement and we will display star. And after printing a star, what we can do is we can separate the different characters by using a space. So after printing star, I'm going to add a space, which will make this pattern look a bit pretty. Okay. So that's it, you know, we have uh, written the program in here. Now let's run this. Enter the number of rows, I'm gonna say five. Now you guys can see we have this pattern. So this is a pattern we were talking about in the beginning. And now what we can do is we can change this character and we can display, you know, anything uh, that we want. For example, if you want, you can display the add symbol. Um, let us say six rows, you know, we get this pattern. And similarly here, what we can do is we can display whatever that we want to display. For example, we can display the numbers. For example, I'm going to say percentage D and I'm going to display uh, zero in here. You know, we can display anything. So run this program, five rows, you know, we get this pattern. Again, uh, instead of displaying zero, if you want, we can display the row number and uh, if i run this program and if i say five rows now you guys can see row number is displayed first row second row third row fourth row and fifth row and whenever we are displaying number if you want you can specify the number of character spaces to be used for displaying that number which is nothing but we can say use two character spaces to display the number that uh, I want to display here. For example, percentage 2D will display the number in two character space. So if I specify that, uh, save the program, run this. And now I'm going to say 10. Now you guys can see the number is displayed in two character space. For example, you guys can see here in this 10, we have two digit. So it is displayed by using two character space. And for the numbers, which need only one character space for them also two character space is used, but uh, one is filled with blank. Okay. Similarly, uh, if you want to specify that two character space to be used, but if two character space is not required, then you can specify it to fill that up with zero. So percentage zero two D save the program, run it. We're going to say 10 rows. Now you guys can see two character space is used. Whenever two character space is not required, zero is uh, you know, prefixed. Okay. You know, you can make all these modifications. Now, if you want, you can display the column number also. So we can change this one to column number, you know, save the program, run it. 
10 you know we're gonna get this pattern in here the column number is displayed and also what we can do is we can use another variable and we can display the numbers in continuous order which is nothing but uh, before the for loop we use another variable we call it as sum and we will initialize this variable with a value of one and here when we're displaying the number we can display the value present in the sum variable and after displaying that particular value what we can do is we can increment the value of the sum variable so uh, in this statement whatever the value present in the sum variable will be used first and then it will be incremented so so the next time when it will be displayed it will display the next number so after making that modification save the program run it and let us say 10 rows now you guys can see the numbers are displayed in the continuous order so you can make you know all these modifications and you can uh, you know form different different uh, um, uh, you know patterns so this is it guys for this video thank you for watching if you like this video hit the like button if you don't like it hit the dislike button if you want to say something then write that in the comment box for more tutorials like this do subscribe to the channel thank you for watching i'll see you later in the next video